I often speak to you guys about really going out there and chasing your dreams. I want to motivate you. I want you to really, you know, try to be better, whatever that means for you. I want you to be a better version of yourself tomorrow than you are today. And hopefully, you know, you're a better version of yourself today, right now, this second, than you were even yesterday. sit and I talk to people and I really just think about it like you know I don't want you to confuse my message like like it's one thing to really go after your dreams really chase financial riches and go after things that have you know a dollar sign attached to it but wealth is something completely and totally different we are all wealthy like you know you come into this world at, at the starting block wealthy just by virtue of being born into this beautiful world that God has set up for us we are all starting off wealthy we got all the wealth in the world and really just sit back and just think you know here in New York we don't get too many really nice days like it's it's cold I mean it's colder than a mother in New York City so every time spring come around and you get that first sign of sun coming out and you know you start to see the flowers bloom and I love to see nature and the trees start budding and you see them leaves coming on the tree that's wealth to me it, it has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with what's in my bank account. And I really want people stop associating, you know, your God given birthright of, of, of wealth with, you know, what you have amassed, what you have put away, what's in your bank account. You're already wealthy. If you right now are in love, if you're dating somebody and you're still in that, you know, that, that first year where you, it's just euphoric and, and you can't, you know, wait to get around this person or wait to get a phone call from this person, you are wealthy. Or if you've been in a relationship with somebody, you know, for a few years or, or, or you know, dozens of years and you still could look at this person and you're like, you know what, if I had it to do all over again, I would choose you. You are wealthy. You're wealthy. I sit back and I think about my own life, you know, growing up poor in the Bronx. And, you know, we didn't know we was poor because everybody in our hood was poor. And just thinking about how we used to take crates, like these milk crates, and cut the bottoms out and nail them to the, the light pole. And, you know, that was our basketball court because we didn't have, you know, playgrounds that had basketball rims that we could really shoot in but looking back and now i got those same childhood friends that i could pick up the phone and talk about those old times with that's wealth that is wealth like when you really sit and think about it if you you know if you're breathing if you if, if you got a pulse you're still in the game there's always an opportunity for you to do something that you've never done before that's wealthy and you know <clears throat> I, I, I think a big one that so many of us do you know we just take for granted like I'm a spiritual person you guys all know I don't have my relationship with God and I truly believe and I feel that that having a relationship with God or having a relationship with something more acknowledging that there is something more out there that is looking over our lives and really blessing us day to day with, you know, a sunrise or a sunset or having that moon come out and just seeing, you know, them stars up there, you know, that, that relationship. And I'm not talking about, you know, just uh, you just acknowledging it, but being in real relation, being in real relation with the man upstairs and being able to dialogue and being able to consult and really just, you know, treat God as though you would treat your best friend. Like, you know, pull God into the conversation before you make any major decisions in your life. That is wealthy. That is wealth. That is, that is supreme wealth. So please, like as you're watching these videos and, and, and you know, you, you, I, don't, I don't care what financial state you're in. You know, you could be dirt poor, 
But if your mindset is to, you know, you're going out there and you're trying to achieve more, that that that's why I do this. Because I want you to really go after more. I don't want you to accept your circumstances. I want you to really sit and think, you know, so what? You know, I, I, I wasn't dealt the best hand from birth, but you know what? I always have a shot to change my life, but I don't want you to get it confused. I, I, I really want you to get up and be happy and, and, and feel inspired and just know at the end of the day, I am the wealthiest man, woman, or child on earth just by virtue of the fact that I can love, that people love me, that I am loved. Like, you know, that 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 is something that you should really, really cherish and really take a second, you know, to think to yourself, you know what? I'm starting out in a great place. You know, everything else, every dollar I put in the bank, every car I put in that garage, every time I'm able to pay a bill and got money left over, whatever it is, that's just cherry on top. That's icing on the cake. But I'm wealthy. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all in the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.